fucking dyslexia. Hey, are you tired of reading books with your hands? Mm-hmm. That's like a baby's toy. Did you know that you can get Aaron Clary's books in an audio form? Mm -hmm. Check the links in the description to get audiobooks for Reconnaissance Man and more. And toss this shit away. Winning. You know what I think our society truly needs today? Bullies! And no, you don't have to rewind it. You heard me right. Bullies. You think I'm wrong? Turn on the news and watch it for yourself. There's all kinds of riots going on for these entitled babies. Wah, wah, wah. He's not my president. Well, yes, he is. And this is what you get when everyone is raised in daycare. And everyone gets a participation trophy. And no one gets their ass kicked. Violence does include psychological violence. And misgendering a trans person is absolutely an act of psychological violence. Who wants to line up and kick their asses? Come over to my house and stand in line because I'm first, baby. Ugh, I did that out. People used to have more respect for cripples, you know. They didn't really. And this is what happens when you never have to face the bully. You become the bully who thinks he's a victim. <laughs> and with that being said, take that number two pencil, sharpen it up, stick it right in your eye or in your ass, and let us begin. Yeah. I know you guys out there are like, Pop, bullies suck. And you are correct. <laughs> but it's tough love and they teach you shit that you need to learn early. Listen, jerk. When I tell you to come, you better come. And these libtards out there, they want you to focus on your feelings. <laughs> but when you get out in the real world, feelings don't mean shit. And guess what? There is a pecking order. And you're in it, like it or not. If you never, ever face the bully. When it becomes your time to get out there in the real world, you don't really know where you are in that pecking order. You'll find out real quick. Because let's face it, a lot of you twinkle toes out there, not you, the guy behind you, you're gonna go out in the real world think you're up here. And really, you're gonna get your ass knocked down and you're gonna start out here, because that's the way it really works. How about if I just kick your ass? Oh, a counter offer. People have to work when they're climbing that pecking order. Either time, money, or just straight up pain, but it has to be paid. And if you're not willing to pay that price, I guess you just play the victim card. <laughs> what have I been doing with my life? Oh yeah, Space Ghost. That is today's trump card, the victim card. They play it, why, I don't know, but when. That is not how shit is supposed to work. But hey, that's where we're going, and that's why we need to bring back the bully. What, are you gonna cry now? And you know what? We all could use a good ass kicking once in a while. Why? Because it puts you right with the universe. Because when somebody kicks your ass, and they put you in your place, it forces you to grow up. Because what happens then, you have two choices. You just take the ass whipping, or you fight back. And if you take that ass whipping, life will whip your ass for your entire goddamn life. It doesn't really matter if you win or lose. If you stand up to that bully, people will respect you, and that equates to more popularity down the road. Even if he pounds you into dust, even if you know you're gonna get waylaid, you still show up and put up your fists and he beats the living shit out of you and you go home bloodier than your mama's tampons, it means character and he'll respect that. <laughs> this is a no shit moment in your life where character is built. Stand up, take the beating, and you still go home a winner. If you weren't stronger here, you really do become stronger in here. And that's what really counts. In life, it's full of assholes. There's always gonna be the next asshole you have to face. Learn that lesson early and then you can handle it today. Instead of pulling the, not my president, safe space, I wanna blow bubbles, you whiny bitches. Why would you say that? Because everything is about you. So this is how the youth of today are handling this. They step up to the line, they don't put up their fists. They just call the guy a xenophobe, homophobe, bigot, and they still get their asses kicked. These are the new bullies of today. These crybaby fucktards. The only difference is, is these bullies, they usually show up in college, not in elementary school. Just saying. <laughs> you gonna kick the shit out of me now? So guess what? Cue the Rocky training montage and go kick that guy's ass. Or find your buddies, make a gang, and all kick his ass. I don't really condone ganging up on one dude. Well, I kind of do, but that's how the bullies learn their lessons too. It's hard to fight three guys. I don't care how big you are. Because let's face it, that bully knows he can kick your ass all day long. But you and two of your buddies, that's a bitch in heat. If that bully can kick all three of your asses, you better get good at E&E, &E, I'm just saying. 
For those of you who don't really know what E&E is, it means escape and evasion. It's a military term, which means run your ass off and hide. It doesn't really make you a pussy, but hey, you get to live to fight another day. Winning! Another one of these important lessons that you learn indirectly by facing the bully is you learn how to conquer your own fear, and you become limitless if you can do that. You go to school day in and day out thinking to get your ass kicked and you're terrified, you learn how to compartmentalize that and get around it. You get used to that, and sooner or later you just kind of go, fuck it, I'm not really afraid anymore. In addition to conquering your fear, <laughs> vada voom, vada ving, you learn conflict resolution. Either by this or with this, you still learn. You're at work, you see the asshole coming, and what do you do? You space ghost out. What are you doing? Level four. No, no, I mean, but I know what you meant. Does that work all the time? Certainly not. Because most of the time, that asshole is your boss. And this is when it helps to have your black belt and administrative violence. Check it out. No matter how this conflict resolution goes down, either with ease or you talk it out, but you learn some valuable lessons and that's how not to be a dick. Just like at Redonculus, we teach you how to find a good woman through the process of elimination. We show you all the bad shit to avoid. Same thing with these goddamn bullies. You get your head stuck in the toilet one too many times, you say, hey, Sticking a dude's head in the toilet is kind of a dick move. It's down there somewhere. Let me take another look. You find all those fuses in your brain that lead to dick moves, and you turn them all off. <laughs> Winning. Oh, did I do that? No, no, no. I was born an asshole, but I'm a dick by choice. Winning. And here's a weird side effect of facing that bully. Lifelong friendships. Who would have thunk? Even if you step up to that bully and you lose, chances are he'll respect you, and he may become your friend. I know a lot of you can't really wrap your mind around being friends with a bully. But you become friends with the guys who you teamed up so you can kick his ass because chances are they will have your back for life. You know who to call if you're in a bind and they know who to call if they're in a bind because you team up. And the best part of this, and this is going to sound weird, win or lose, you still win. <laughs> no matter what happens, physically or mentally, you get stronger. And failure is one of the best teachers in the universe. And that is why participation trophies aren't worth shit. They have taken failure out of the equation and you're getting people going off the rail. When there is no possibility of failure, how the fuck are these guys supposed to learn? These millennials, they go all the way through high school, college, they get to the end and don't even know what failure is until they get into the real world with their gender studies degree and they find out it's absolutely worthless. Idiots. And you know what happens shortly after they have that rude awakening? They want to get paid 15 bucks an hour to flip burgers. Suck it. That is not how you handle adversity. You want to learn how you handle adversity? And I learned this in kindergarten. You beat his goddamn ass. You either fight it with your fists or you fight it through administrative violence. But either way, you learn how to handle shit. And handling adversity doesn't mean signing a petition so you can wear a miniskirt on Friday. Wah. And then blogging about it once you get shit canned. Or you bad talk him on Facebook. What are you, stupid? Rhetorical question. You are stupid. Double wham. Because in today's day and age, your stupidity is voluntary. And you see what's going on here? You learn how to talk shit. You face the bully, you learn how to talk some shit. What's going on? Let's do this. We're going to do the man dance? Come on. A lot of times they'll be like, no, he's crazy. I'm going with option B, kicking your ass and collecting $200. And for you sons of bitches out there, I'll leave a lot of crazy shit in the comments. I know a lot of people learn how to fight. I know you're like, ah, oh, Pop, we don't believe in violence. Well, guess what? Violence believes in you. Violence is not feelings. It's like science. It adds up, it makes sense, or it doesn't. I'm sorry, I missed that. Could, could you do that again? That's, that's very good. <laughs> if you don't have enough confidence to stand up for yourself, no one will. You have to be your own manager, your own coach, your own cheerleader, and your own fighter. Because if you're not, you're going to lose. And if you don't like that, that's too goddamn bad. Because guess what? Facing the bully is how do you get out of your comfort zone. The world today is not like leave it to beaver. You go to school or you go in the real world and you just want to get through your day. That's not how it always goes. These institutions and the culture we have today in the Western world that takes the bullies away, you're doing the youth a huge disservice. Because what they are doing is they're taking a brilliant life lesson completely off the table for 18 to 21 years of age. Well, that's when you get people like this. You're a white male. We got a whole bunch of spoon-fed social justice warriors, crybaby, entitled cowards that want to be spoon-fed forever. 
And when our institutions coddle our youth this way, they forget to flex the most important muscle, and that's this one. When you have to deal with all this and you have to face the bully, you build a safe space here. When that safe space is here, you don't have to run off to a place to blow bubbles, pet puppies, and hug Barney. You build that mental toughness. You learn how to see that threat and how to deal with it. Nothing in this life will ever touch you. I learned the lessons. I fought the bullies. And I lost a lot. And I got my ass kicked a lot. But I always stood up. And in the end, I win. And the longer it takes for you to learn these lessons, the worse it gets. It's just like learning a foreign language when you're a child. You soak it up like a sponge. Say you didn't learn that language when you were young and you waited till after college. It gets infinitely harder. There's always that guy who can juggle his catch and chainsaws and I'm not that guy and they're few and far in between. And that is what we're dealing with today. They have no idea on how to handle adversity even when they get done with college. They show up on the stage which is the real world after college and they have to juggle those cats and chainsaws and they're failing. Check that. Most of them don't even fail. They just run away and quit in their safe space. They go home and pull the troll hole effect. Because <laughs> a lot of these guys are moving back home to mama. As you go out into the world, my advice to you is don't go. It's rough out there. Move back, back with your, your parents. parents. Let, Let them, them worry, worry about it. <laughs> and what really blows my mind is this is such an easy lesson to learn. Bullies, they're lazy. They always go for the small, weak guy. They don't pick on the jocks who can kick their head in. He tags you as weak and beats your ass. Learn from it, change it, and become a better man. And I mentioned this in my book. Links in the description. Always be the guy that no one wants to fight twice. Because if a dude learns from his mistakes, even if he doesn't get stronger here, he gets stronger here. If you can really flex this muscle, the bullies don't even matter. When you're done with school and you go off into the real world, most of the conflicts you're going to face aren't really based on this. They're based on this. Facing the bullies is an important lesson in life. And a lot of the counselors and teachers you're going to run into, they're going to tell you some bullshit. Don't listen to it. The bully's in pain and needs your compassion. Maybe he's getting beat up at home. He has a bad home life. You don't know what's going through his head. Maybe he's a victim. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Everyone's got problems. And the difference between us and the bullies is we learn how to deal with them better. Another good lesson for being a good dude, which is basically class 102, is don't take your shit out on people around you. Now listen, we all got problems. We have to learn how to deal with them without, I don't know, caving everyone's head in around us. Grow the fuck up. If that guy is really having a bad life and he's taking out on everyone else, showing him compassion is not really going to fix the problem. Violence is going to fix the problem because guess what? It's the universal answer. Here's another true story. You have the bully when you're in middle school. You go to high school he thinks he's the big shit and he gets waylaid. What happened to him? He becomes a better dude. The pecking order is simply that. It's called pecking for a reason. It doesn't matter where you hide, it will find you. You can hide in the safe space. Hell, build a hut out of puppies and the pecking order will still find you. But hey, don't blame it on the Russians. Let's be truthful and blame it on your single mothers and your college professors who've been teaching this liberal tart bullshit. We are, in effect, releasing a whole generation of pussies out into the wild. And they're gonna get train wrecked again, and again, and again, and oh yeah, I want to see it. You're not fighting for free speech, you're not fighting for rights, you're fighting for the right to be a pussy and not hear opinions that you don't like! Because if this election taught us anything, karma is a bitch and she always kicks you in the ass. Trump is not really the bully we deserve, but he's the one we need, just saying. I could use a good ass kick and I'll be very honest with you. And that's it, that's the end of this episode, bullies. <laughs> And how we need them. In fact, I kind of miss them. You don't want me to bully you. You better check out the links below. Patreon and PayPal and throw us a couple bucks. And hit the subscribe button. Because if you don't, I might have to come and kick your ass and drink beer. And I'm almost out of beer. <laughs>